What's up, nerds? Today is a little bit different um, than the usual. So some of you may know that I do a lot of 3D printing. Uh, one of my terrain, um, as you can see over here, is 3D printed. Um, but I've been also getting into resin printing a lot more. So I'm just quick to show you my printer setup. Yeah, a little behind the scenes view here. Okay, so you can see, ignore the mess, it's a total mess, I know. <clears throat> uh, I've been printing a lot of stuff in resin, um, you know, cool stuff like this. I'm gonna drop my base. <clears throat> and, um, you know, I have my FDM printer over here, which I print a lot of terrain, um, but then here's my resin setup. So I have, you know, all this stuff over here, cleaning station over here. The problem with this is it's not really ventilated. Um, I'm just here in my basement, so. What I'm going to do is build an enclosure and a system to kind of vent all the, the resin fumes out of my basement because it does stink up the house and that's not very good. So um, <clears throat> what I'm going to do is build a setup over here and we're going to run some uh, ducts and a, an exhaust system and we're going to route it. Hopefully you can see this. It's a little dark. Uh, there's uh, this this hose goes here out directly outside. So this is for the bathroom fan. So I'm gonna tap into here and vent all my fumes out here. So so that should hopefully solve my issue, and we can be fume free down here, and you know be a little bit safer as well. So what I'm gonna do is build my enclosure with some of these uh, steel shelves, and I got some HVAC equipment down here to uh, tap into that exhaust line, and then I have a a fan and a curtain. So this will all make sense once you start building it, but um, yeah, so hopefully this will work. Uh, but first of all, I gotta clear away all this crap so I have some space to work. Um, but yeah, so that's what I'm gonna be doing today. All right, so I originally was gonna make a whole video of me building the enclosure, but then I got kind of frustrated when I was doing it, so I stopped, but it's all done, it's all finished, so I figured I'd show you anyways and possibly still make this video, um, yeah, to show off my enclosure, because I think it's pretty cool. So let's take a look at what we got. <clears throat> so as you see, I built the enclosure with just some regular metal shelves that I got at a home improvement store. Um, and then I have this six inch blower fan here, uh, which you can see, which I got on Amazon. I'll put a link in the description. I also got this uh, flexible hose duct, which you, I got on Amazon too, but you can get that at any store. And I ran it through the wall, so I had to cut a hole. <clears throat> and then here in my utility room, it's a little dark, but I have it hooked up. Uh, to a T-junction and that's going right outside. So uh, in theory, it should vent all the wonderful resin fumes out into the elements. And then I um, <clears throat> I put in this little light in here so I can see what I'm doing. So uh, the real question, does it work? Well, first of all, we gotta you know trap all the fumes in there. So I have this plastic tarp, um, which I just rigged up with some of these magnets. And then I can, you know, close it off and you know I can turn on my fan here I got the control switch so it's you can hear it it's it's pretty quiet though <clears throat> so that'll vent all the fumes out while I'm printing and <clears throat> you know real question does it work well I think it will work um, you know as long as there's enough negative pressure in here it'll suck the air out and blow it out but you know there's only one way to find out and to do that, I'm gonna be testing, this is my old printer, the Mono 4X. I recently got the Mono 5, M5S. Uh, Anycubic is having a sale going on at the time of filming this. Um, <clears throat> they are not sponsoring this video by any means, but I did join their affiliate program because I know a lot of war gamers uh, like yourselves 
probably do 3D printing. And if you do, and if you happen to be in the market for a printer, and you like Anycubic stuff, I have Anycubic, I think they're okay. Um, I haven't tried any other brands though, so I'm not really endorsing them, but I do have an affiliate link, so if you, which is in the description, so if you do end up buying something from them with my affiliate link, um, some of that kickback will come back to me and help support the channel. So completely up to you. I'm not endorsing this or this isn't sponsored in any ways. Just wanted to throw that out there. So, but anyways, I'm going to get this guy unboxed and set up and I'm going to do a test print and see how well it works. All right, just a quick update. I got the new printer set up. As you can see, it's a bit bigger than my other one and it's got like a bigger build plate. And the reason why I wanted this one specifically, um, it's the 5S, S for speed, I guess, um, but it's, it can apparently do 100 uh, millimeters per hour if you use the high speed slicer profile along with like this high speed resin. So I am using that specifically because I have a lot of terrain that I wanna print, um, like ground tiles for some boarding action stuff. And I could fit seven ground tiles on this thing and it should print in about an hour. And to compare, I can only fit two on this one and it would take six hours. So huge difference. And I'm hoping to really crank out a ton of terrain with this thing um, and maybe use this one for more of my detailed prints because it's still a fine printer and I'll probably still get some use out of it. So um, as far as the enclosure, it seems to be working really well. Um, you can see that the plastic is actually getting sucked in a little bit and I have the fan on its lowest speed. So I think when I'm working and, you know, taking the prints off of here, I'll just turn the speed up to high and open it up and it should, you know, be enough to remove all the air or all the, uh, the, the chemicals and smells and toxins and all that. So, uh, yeah, I think overall it's a success. I can't smell any of the resin right now. Um, <clears throat> normally you could smell it. Um, so I think it's doing its job and I think it's working. So I'll call this project a success. Um, yeah, so if you like this video, um, give me a thumbs up, leave a comment. Let me know what you think of my enclosure setup. It's a little, uh, it's a little redneck rigged right now, but maybe I'll make some improvements. Um, maybe some Velcro tape or something um, instead of magnets. But yeah, so I think it'll work for now. So I, I, let me know what you think. And if you like what we do here on the channel, and if you want to see more 3D printing related content, um, let me know as well. Um, I do any and all things wargaming related and 3D printing is, you know, it's a reality. It's a, it's a big thing in wargaming these days. So yeah, I'd love to do more of that too. So um, just let me know what you think. And as always, thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.